What's the buzz? What's the buzz? What is the buzz? Good morning, Glory Bees. Grand rising to you. It is early this morning. <laughs> Good morning to you all. I pray your day is going well. Welcome back to Share the Glory. I'm your girl, Lori Story. I am up this morning reading my Bible, meditating on the Word. Haven't even gotten out of my PJs yet. <laughs> But it is a good day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. This morning I was meditating on the word. And then I took a little break, you know, uh, and I got me a cup of coffee. And then I kind of turned on one of my videos. I kind of just wanted to see it because I hadn't watched it since I posted it. And um, I started looking at the one about the walls coming down about our construction and I'm going to show you the part that I listened to so that I can tell you why I came on today. So the walls are down on the bedroom and now you can really see the addition. You can really see uh, the extra footage. You can see how many feet were added. On. And the walls came down and now you can see the growth. Y'all getting where I'm going to? You can see the growth. But first, some things had to happen. Now, we talked about before when we were um, cleaning out the room. When we cleaned out the room, we talked about uh, the need for spiritual cleaning. We needed to clean some things out for God to do a work in us. But also, we need to tear down some walls. Yeah, we need to tear down some walls. And I'm just thankful to God for everything that he allows in my life. He allowed this um, reconstruction of the home because at the same time, he's doing a work in me and I pray that he's doing a work in you. Does it ever seem to you that uh, you're doing all the work, you're uh, doing all you can to make positive changes in your life, putting in all the work and still when you look around, everything around you looks the same. It appears everything is exactly as it was before you even started the work. Have you ever considered that maybe there are some walls blocking your view? You know, demolition often provides us with the very first glimpse of progress. We all need to tear down some walls in order for our blessings to be seen. You know what I mean? Uh, sometimes God has already blessed us and we can't see it because we have too many walls built up. We have resentment built up. Resentment has to come down. Unforgiveness has to come down. All of our insecurities have to come down. Uh, anything that happened in your past, those things need to come down so that something new can be rebuilt in you so that you can see your progress. Amen. Why put in all the work if you're never going to see the progress? Sometimes we can put in a lot of work. We can actually do the work that's needed to be done and never, ever see the progress. And it's not that the progress isn't there. It's not that the Lord hasn't blessed you. You can't see it because you've got all of these walls up. You see? Walls of dependency, you depending on people, walls of insecurity, as I said before, those walls of unforgiveness are the hardest walls, I believe, to probably tear down. But thank God, Jesus tore that wall down for us. We don't even have to do it. All we have to do is surrender to his will. Right. So when someone does something to us, we know Jesus died so that we can all be forgiven. So we don't have to do anything but what God tells us to do, which is cast all of our cares on him because he cares for us. Cast that care on him. Leave it alone. It doesn't belong to you. That's a wall that's too hard to tear down. But thank God it's already been torn down. Thank God for Jesus. We have to do the work, but we have to tear those walls down so that we can see the beauty in it, so that we can see the scope of it, so that we can see how grand our blessings truly are, and that so that our blessings can flow to others. Amen. So I just had that to say this morning. It's not real deep or anything like that, 
but it's a word. It truly is. We have to tear down some walls. We have to cast all of our cares on him. Yeah. Cast all of our cares on him. The temple that could be torn down and rise back up in three days. Amen. Amen. That's some tearing down and rising back up. That's some reconstruction. <laughs> and I just thank God for it. So I want you all to just go ahead and start tearing down those walls. Tearing down those walls and it's not hard. I gave you the answer. The Lord gave me the answer. The word gives us the answer. Cast all of your cares on him because he cares for you. I love you, Glory Bees. And the good news is that God loves you even more. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for watching.